Hello everyone, today I decided to do a political compass test uh, and I've seen many tests online so I just decided to do one for myself. Uh, now not all of these tests are accurate, there are several tests that I will do in separate, for, uh, separate videos so as you can see there are four uh, websites that I found. And um, I will just start the test and it's interesting for me to see where I stand in the spectrum as, as much as it's not perfectly accurate but uh, let's just try anyways. So. Uh, if economic globalization is inevitable, inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than interests of transnational corporations. Um, I guess I agree. Now, it would be good to have neutral option, I think, uh, because some, some of the questions I don't know what to answer, but it, you have to answer them. Uh, I would always support my country whether it is right or wrong. Uh, strongly disagree. Um, I am. I do consider myself patriot in a way that I, you know, I, I like my country, I am proud of things that, you know, we stand our culture and everything, but, you know, not everything about my country is great, but um, I will not support it if they do something horribly, horribly wrong. And also, what defines the country? Is that the government or is that just people overall? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to say. <laughs> uh, let's move on. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, you can be proud of it, you can not be proud of it. So I wouldn't say it's foolish to be proud of it. Sure, you don't choose the country of birth, but you definitely choose your... Uh, you can choose uh, where to try to migrate, for example, like I came from Armenia to UK, and I chose, you know, to... Uh, to do my best to stay here. That was my one of my choices, you know. Not everyone can easily choose where to live. Um, and of course, you cannot choose where you were born unless your parents decided for you somehow. Uh, so I would disagree. Our race has many superior qualities compared to with other races. Whoa, that is <laughs> wow. No, <laughs> strongly disagree. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <clears throat> well, sounds right, but it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Well. The thing is, the international law, uh, if it's an international law and it's defined by, you know, international countries, essentially, a bunch of countries, and you do military action and just, you know, you don't ask them for advice or at least con con consul them with, you know, ask some for something. Um, I don't think it's justified. It really depends on situation. Like, if you're defending yourself, I guess it's justified uh, for like to have military action, but... So, it is sometimes justified. Well, let's just put agree, but I just, I'm not sure, to be honest, in this question. It de really depends, because, I mean, we have international law to not break the law, right? Yeah. There is no, there is now a warring fusion of information and entertainment. Um, I don't even understand this question, to be honest, so I will just put, no, disagree. I really don't understand what this means. Let's go, let's go. Uh, people are ultimately divided more by a class by nationality. 100%. This is like, this is true. Nationality doesn't divide as much as, as class. So I would strongly agree with this. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. First of all, you really cannot control um, inflation. It's you can, you can only have tools that will impact on inflation. It's very difficult to control it. However, you can control unemployment uh, to some level. Um, and to have more steady, I mean, one depends on the other. So it's, you cannot select one. Usually it's if, if like, if inflation is up, unemployment is probably going to go up. That's the logic behind. So, um, controlling inflation, more important, controlling employment. Um, like I said, it's difficult to control inflation. So let's just go disagree. I think unemployment makes more sense to control. Uh, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Yeah, I agree. They, they definitely require. I would say strongly agree, actually. From each according to his ability to each according to his need. I don't even know what this means, but it doesn't really sound as a good idea. It sounds like ex extremely uh, simplified term, like a simplified thing to... To have an idea according to this. I don't know. I mean, I would put disagree. I'm not really sure. 
It's a sad reflection on our society that some, something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled, branded consumer product. Um, well, <laughs> the irony is that in Armenia you can have free water outside. We have water fountains everywhere. So this would, this would not work in Armenia, this question. So I would put agree um, for, you know, because even water is becoming, you know, commodity. You have to buy and, uh, you know, you can have to have free water. So I would just say agree just because it's sad. I mean, it's not good to have everything, you know, so much, everything to be paid for everything, you know, everything in life being paid for. Anyways, I don't know. Land shouldn't be commodity to be bought and sold. Wow, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It is. It is a commodity to be bought and sold. <laughs> that has been since the Stone Ages. That has been even before our civilization. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. I mean, bought and sold would, would be a different way. Like, you can protect your own land that you claimed or something like that. But before, this has happened before. This is going to happen now, like, forever. I don't think this is going to be a shouldn't be thing, you know. Because who controls the land? Like, the world? Like, you don't own anything, if even if you pay for it and you, you know, look after it? Like, why not? Uh, if you look after land and uh, you nourish it and you use it to build and um, provide, you know, employment and provide food, and if someone just comes and says, that's not yours, what are you going to say? No, that's not mine, and you're happy to give them away or give it to the government? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. It is a regret regrettable that many per personal uh, fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and can contribute nothing to their society. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, sorry, agree. Yeah, I, I guess it's regrettable, but that's just that's just reality. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Yes, I actually agree with this. Uh, I have done trade in, in my master's degree a little bit, and protectionism is one of the tools you can use because sometimes you can you can be completely invaded by um by international trade and, and you have nothing else you, you cannot protect your own country from from you know other uh, traders the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver profit to its shareholders that's not true that is that is definitely not true for um in, in today's his, today's time like especially it's a social responsibility that's not true i don't think so the rich are too highly taxed Mm, I don't know. I would put neutral because I don't really know what is high tax. It really depends. Like if someone says, "Okay, ninety percent of what you make is mine," then okay, that's too much. Also, what is what does it mean? The rich is that the one percent or ten percent? What is the rich of the population? Am I rich compared to whom? Right. So let's just put disagree. But I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's. I think there should be an option. I don't know. Or skip the question. Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standard of medical care. I mean, yes, if you have other uh, options, but if it's only paid, then no. But um, I guess agree, but I mean, there's nothing wrong if you have an option to to have uh, different uh, medical care. I mean, how, how is that bad? Governments should penalize or penalize, depends how you say, uh, businesses that mislead the public. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they? A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to come to create monopolies. Um, so a free market requires restrictions? The thing is that in free market, you can create monopoly because it's a free market. And if no one wants to, to compete with you, you're, you're eventually a monopoly. Uh, but monopolies are meant to be corrupt. They're, they're supposed to be corrupt, like it's supposed to be completely exploitative, right? Um, so it says a genuine free market requires a restriction on the ability of predator multinationals. So, well, I would say agree, but at the same time, sometimes you wouldn't even have products um, like Microsoft was once. It was monopoly in, in some sense. Because you, you, you can't be monopoly in one, one way or, uh, you know, not a monopoly in a different way. It just really depends how you, how you present your company. There has been a very famous case study on DuPont. If you search DuPont monopoly case, um, you can see that, for example, like if you produce only matches and a, a lighter company says, oh, you're a monopoly because you're the only one who makes uh, matches. Uh, well, you can say, well, you are light. Uh, you are a company that creates lighters. So we all, we both serve for the same 
purpose, so we are not in a monopoly. Yeah, sure, I'm the only one who makes this specific product, but it really doesn't... It's like the Apple case, like Apple and Android. Like, Apple is a monopoly when it comes to iOS, right? iPhones. But it's not really, because you can find another, another product that is, of course, not iOS. But anyways, um, so, yeah. The freer the market, the freer the people. Um, generally, yes, I think. But it's very debatable, I mean, how it works in reality. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be legal. Well, that's that's a tough question. I cannot really answer this question, honestly. What I can say is that um, when a woman's life is threatened, it uh, should be legal. Um, so I, I, I am really, I'm not like one-sided when it comes to abortion. I don't know much about abortion, honestly. I don't go around my day and thinking about this, so or watching videos to know what's the right way or asking people, whatever. You know, so what I would say is that it shouldn't be illegal because there could be other cases that um, would apply that something needs to be done, you know? Because it's not always the woman's life to be threatened. What if something else happened? Or, you know, there could be cases where you should... You, you, there shouldn't be a law. You know, it says it should always be illegal. I would say disagree just because I don't think there's only one option that is woman's life is, is under threat that you, you should do it. So that's why. All authority should be questioned. Yes. Definitely agree. I don't know why I put agree. Agree should be on top. Why is disagree on top? That's weird. An eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. Uh, no. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, well, no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, you can have different opinion on this. I just don't like this phrase. That again, it doesn't apply to everything. It's just too simplified. It depends also where you use this. <laughs> Taxpayers uh, should be should not be expected to prop up any threat uh, theaters or museums that cannot survive on commercial basis. Yeah, I agree. Actually, if it cannot survive on commercial basis, why should we pay for um, for it to exist? Like, what sort of theater or museum that you need to have that cannot exist on commercial basis that it sells so few or so people so few people come in to see things that we have to pay as a taxpayer for you to exist i mean for example if it's a national gallery and, and for example in uk national gallery is free but at the same time they make money through cafe like everyone knows that you through cafe through through shop through gift shop souvenirs everything like yeah i mean uh, that's how you can get your money we don't have to be we don't have to sponsor the national um gallery we we can be if we want to but that should be an optional not not to be applying to every single museum or theater so it's really really interesting question but i don't think it's that easy to answer schools should not not make classroom attendance compulsory um well it, it's it's about discipline i think um you do better when you actually go to a certain place and you have some sort of old school environment. I think people do better in these cases. Of course, schools can be very horrible places, uh, personally coming from how much bullying I've experienced in my life and, you know, psychological pressure. I still think it's a good thing. So, yeah, uh, they should. Uh, it says school should not make us on their comparison. Disagree. Um, okay. All, well, wait, schools should not make classroom... Did I answer correctly? Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I think so. It was confusing. Uh, all people have their rights, but it is better for us all to have different sort of people should keep their own kind. I disagree. I, I, I mean, why? Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. I don't think spanking is right, but you can definitely find a better way to punish them, not spank them. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, I guess so. How would be that not natural? You, you want your child to tell you everything? Like completely everything? That would be actually more suspicious. Possessing mar uh, marijuana for... or Marijuana, is that how you say? Marijuana? For personal use should not be criminal offense. Yeah, it should not be. 
the prime, I actually strongly agree, shouldn't be. For personal use, it shouldn't be. Yeah, I agree. The prime function of schooling should to be to equip future generations finding jobs. Well, I don't think so, but at the same time, I understand why this could be a good uh, argument. As someone who is still looking for a job, I mean, I would say agree, but I have to say disagree because this is not the prime function of school. You need to be prepared for life, and life includes finding a job. And if you just separate, oh, you're going to go to school and just learn how to find a job, well, you're not going to learn anything useful. That's a different, that's a different thing. People with serious inher inheritable disabilities should not be, whoa, should not be allowed to reproduce? No. Why? Come on. We're not in stone ages. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Uh, I agree, but I don't know why it says most important thing. Like, there's nothing most important to learn from kids that just discipline. I mean, I agree with this statement, but not with the most important thing part. Children should learn to accept discipline, but yeah, let's just put agree for now. There are no savage or uns or there are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. No, there are definitely savage and civilized people. What the hell are you talking about? There are definitely savage and uncivilized people. People. Different cultures mean there are different civilizations. Culture can be very savage. So this 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 phrase is actually incorrect by its statement. Different culture could be a different savage culture. So disagree those who are able to work what the hell was that uh though <laughs> some sound those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support uh able to work and refuse the opportunity so basically they're saying if, if you can work and if you don't work then why would you expect society to support you I, I mean, that's fair, right? I mean, that is fair, if you think about it. Sure, you can choose not to work, but at the same time, if you choose not to work, why would you? Why would others not have an ability to choose to support you, right? So, you know, it's just those... Uh, yeah, I agree with this. When you are in uh, troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Um, no. I don't think so. I don't think being busy or doing cheerful things somehow fixes the trouble. It definitely doesn't. You're procrastinating. You're forgetting what you have to do. But, you know, it's not good. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Oh boy. Um, I can tell you many, many generations can sometimes of immigrants cannot be fully integrated. So this is, it doesn't mean that, you know, second generation will be fully integrated. That's not true. It depends on family, depends on culture, depends on who's coming. So I would say disagree because I'm a first generation immigrant, essentially, thinking of myself as here. I can be fully integrated. Why not? If I have discipline, if I want to, if I want to really get integrated, why would, why would I fail to integrate? when living here many years I mean that's that's again that's personal it really depends if you can what's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us no I don't think so corporations can have very different agendas very different corporations can exist when for them success could be different I don't know how that is ultimately good for us in any way it really depends right no broadcasting institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. I agree with this. I should not sponsor any broadcasting institution. If I want to, I won't. I will sponsor it, but not forced. So let's go. Um, our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Yeah, I mean that's true. That's just that is just a true statement. <laughs> A significant advantage of one-party state is that it avoids all arguments, delay progress. Well, no. I don't know why one-party state is anything good. So disagree. I think it should be more politically discussed state where you have many views. It's easier to, to find out the right one. If you just have one view and everything else is not allowed, well, that's, <laughs> how is that going to be good? 
Although the electronic age makes official uh, surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. No, 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 no. That's that's not true. You can be as innocent as possible. They will always find something on you and twist it so that you know you get in trouble. You don't have to be a wrongdoer to be afraid of surveillance. That's nothing to do with that. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Um, well, really depends what you mean by most serious crimes. Like, what, killing 100 people? Yeah. I guess that's a serious crime. How would you fix that person? Well, why would you keep that person alive for to rot in, in jail? Or not to rot in jail, you know, live great in jail if you want to give them good good conditions. So I would say agree, but I'm I'm really not for death penalty, honestly, because it's very slippery slope. It depends what crime is. Some people can sometimes be, you know, um, miss, uh, what is the correct ter term, falsely accused and falsely put <coughs> under trials and stuff. So people can be killed uh, and be innocent. Because there is still a chance that if someone, if you still have like a solid argument that this person did these, these, these things, and there's a definitely a, a proof of that, then that's fine, I guess. But if there's a slight chance that we can avoid death penalty and somehow the person didn't commit those serious crimes. So I guess I would say disagree more. I would agree with this to some, uh, some, sen uh, some sense, but I would say mostly disagree, right? A little bit more. In a civilized society, one must always have have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. That's not civilized society, I think. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Uh, I disagree. I mean, it could be considered art. It's just bad art. It's like, it just is not worth your time. It's not worth, you know. Sure, you can call anything art, but you know. Am I the one who decides or judges what is art? Not really. <laughs> In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I disagree. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I agree. Because punishment is should be more important. Because people will be afraid to commit those crimes then. Okay, sure. Rehabilitation is good. To make sure people get fixed if they can. But if you're not afraid of this, you will rely on this, I think. It is a waste of time to try to, uh, to rehabilitate some criminals. Um, waste of time? Well, it's a it's a huge waste of money uh, if they don't if they fail in the end, right? But I mean, I guess I don't know. I, I neutral. I would definitely put neutral here, but. You know, since it mentioned some criminals, I guess they're so bad that it's just a waste of time to try helping them. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than writer and the artist. Um, more important? I mean, there's not. I mean, I don't have anything against writers and artists. I I do write do writing myself too, and I would still consider myself artist in some form because I like to draw, for example, I like to make music. So that's. I guess something but like why would you ask me this question I would say agree just because I think business person and manufacturer do provide more to society in my opinion like realistically thinking than artist and a writer uh, but it's one is not comparable to another so why are you comparing them one is more important I mean writer is also important if it's a good writer right I don't know mothers may have careers but their first duty is to be homemakers Mm, well, I, I don't like to say duty, like no one force, I don't think that we should force mothers or, or even women to, to be some sort of homemakers of, you know, you know, not have a choice to not be if they don't want to. So I would say disagree, it's a, it's a first duty. I don't know, I mean, I, I would, again, neutral, I would say, but disagree mostly. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. Making peace with establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Um, making peace with establishment? <sighs> well, 
I have no idea, to be honest, what this means. Making peace with what? Like your government? or What is the establishment? I don't know. I guess agree. I don't know. We're getting close. Um, astrology accurately explains many things. Hell no. It doesn't explain anything, I would say. It's hor horoscopes, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't explain anything. Just people for to feel better or, or I don't know, bad. I don't think so. <laughs> you cannot... I'm, uh, I'm not against astrology and, and horoscopes. I mean, if you like uh, horoscopes, fine. Read them. If that helps you, sure. But I don't think it explains anything. Like, sure, it, if horoscope says, oh, today you had a bad day or today you had, you had a good day. I'm like, oh my God, it's so me. Wow, I had a bad day today. This is exactly true. Now, come on, you know. <laughs> no. You cannot be moral without being religious. Disagree. That's one has nothing to do with another. Charity is better than social security as a, a means of helping genuinely disadvantaged. Well, it depends. Like, if social security works better, then I guess that's true. But charity... Like, especially in UK, I agree. Charity does do more than social security, in my opinion. But charity can be corrupt, too. So, I guess more agree than disagree. Some people are naturally unlucky. Uh, disagree. You make your own luck. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. If you want to go to religious school, take take your child to religious school. But for me, no. <laughs> Finally, a look at sex. Okay, sex outside marriage is usually immoral. I disagree. I, I, by the way, I disagree for both men and women, I think. Because, I mean, I, just, I don't want to get into this, but I disagree. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from a possibility of a child adoption. The possibility of child adoption. The key, the key is here the possibility, actually. Not actually uh, child adoption. I guess, I guess uh, it should not, so I agree a little bit. Some countries are very sensitive with this. I, I mean, this could be very controversial. I, I mean, this is also controversial in many countries, I can tell you that. But including mine, actually. I don't know what happens now in my country with this one. but Not UK, by the way. But I don't know. Things move now. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal. Yes, yes. What goes in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of state. Yes, no one can feel naturally homosexual. <laughs> I guess that's true. Uh, sorry, I guess that's not true because I, I have seen some people feeling very, very homosexual. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think it's because it says na feel naturally homosexual, right? It says feel. It, it it puts the question in a very, like, statement in a very weird way. You know, if you really want to find out if I'm against this or for, this is not the right way to to give the statement. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I actually agree with this. I think it's gone too far. It's too much discussion about it, so. Let's see where we stand. About political compass, left, right, right line, authoritarian, libertarian, and I am in where? Oh, I'm left-wing libertarian. Whoa, that's a surprise. Why? <laughs> I wouldn't think this, actually. I'm apparently moderate left now, because this is moderate libertarian left. I What I can definitely say, I'm definitely not authoritarian, so that's good. Um, but I'm actually surprised that I was that much left. I was expecting to be somewhere... First of all, I was expecting to be way up towards the, the cross here. Libertarian is way down. I'm, I'm actually more libertarian than I thought, apparently, with these questions. Uh, and I'm actually way more left than I thought. I thought I'll be just somewhere along the line, but... Yeah. I don't know. I will take, to, uh, take a screenshot of this, just in case. And, uh, yeah, I will uh, do the other tests right now. So, check out other videos. Let's see how we, how we do in, in other tests. Thank you so much for watching.